Well, praise the Lord Most High, blessed be He. Father, send an unction of the Holy Spirit to each of your children, that, uh, that all may ask and receive in Jesus' name. Do not wait. That's the topic for today. I have been reading my Bible uh, and praying. I was in Louisiana at the time. As I, uh, I talked to the Lord, I said, uh, Lord, I see here uh, uh, there is a new name written uh, that no man knows. Lord, I would uh, like to hear that new name once, just once. Uh, just to know my name is uh, written in the book, uh, in your book, uh, written, and it's written down. So uh, in Revelations uh, 2.17, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh uh, will I give to, uh, to, to eat of the hidden manna, and uh, will give him a white stone, and uh, on, on, the, on the stone a, a new name written, which no man knows, saving he that received it. Now, uh, <clears throat> as I as I turned out the lights uh, in the be in the bedroom and laid down uh, on my bed, suddenly uh, at uh, at bed level, God spoke to me uh, as the room seemed to light uh, enough to see, because it was pitch black. Uh, he was speaking, uh, speaking my name. It started uh, out as Mark, and it just went on, and it was just covered the room. It covered uh, maybe eight feet. I, I, don't, I don't know. It was, uh, it was a long name. And uh, uh, he was, he was seeking my name. It, uh, it started out with as, as Mark, uh, and it went on from there. As I as I looked at the the paneling on the wall, uh, I mean I could see him writing it, and it was kind of like uh, sparkles, like it was. Uh, it's hard to explain. At least eight foot long, and uh, and on the end of the name was like it was uh, uh, two more names, uh, uh, which which lar with larger writing, maybe five times, maybe. Uh, even more than that, the size of, of the rest of the names, got larger. Automatically, I just tried to uh, pronounce the name that I just heard. I could not do it as hard as I tried. Then, uh, uh, then the Lord spoke again and said, uh, "You are not able to repeat it." I was. Uh, it was then I, I asked the, the Lord, uh, "Why is it so long?" Again, he spoke and said, because, my son, uh, you will be doing a lot of different things. I had understanding, for I knew uh, what he was telling me. In the Old Testament, they sometimes named, or most times named, uh, their children after certain events or things that happened. And I, I fell asleep after that. I woke up uh, refreshed, uh, and uh, off to work I went. I know, I know now also that uh, I am on my last name, and he and he has told me uh, he has told me that name. He uh, he now calls me the Word of the Tabernacle of God. So that's what he calls me, uh, for he he anointed he, he anoints the words I write and say. For it is uh, his his words I speak uh, when I write these lessons. Likewise, it, uh, likewise it was uh, it was said to me early in my ministry that I would be uh, going out into a unique ministry and unique it has been it certainly has. <laughs> it's like no other. The uh, well that's what unique means one of a kind. The very next day uh, after coming home from from work I picked up my Bible and. Uh, and was meditating on the, on the things I, I had been reading uh, about Moses. How the Lord put him in a cave and, and covered, uh, covered it with his hand and walked uh, by so he could uh, see the image of the Lord. As I was uh, saying my prayer, I said, I said to the Lord, Lord, I love you. And wow, would it be great, it'd be so great so, uh, to see your glory as Moses did. 
Now this is the love he has for each one of us. I know I would uh, melt away at, uh, at your presence, but uh, wow, would that be great. Thank you, Lord and Jesus. I had already turned out the lights and uh, it was uh, pitch black. I mean pitch black because I was where I lived out in the country. Way back uh, from the road where uh, there are no lights. I had uh, closed my eyes and, and laid down when, uh, when the room seemed bright and getting brighter. It was light even, uh, even with my eyes shut. I mean I could almost see through my eyes. It was that bright. I opened my eyes and it was uh, it was so bright in the room. I mean it was it's unbelievable how light it was. I was like it was brighter than looking into the sun. My uh, my first thought was uh, it was a car headlights, uh, but there was nothing and and it would it would not be possible. I had no uh, no idea what was happening. I should have, but it did. Uh, the light was still getting brighter all the time. He was giving it to me easily. I pulled the covers over my head, and uh, and the light shined through there just like it did to my eyeballs. I mean, it just uh, it hit my eyelids. Uh, it it was just it was like not closing them. All the time, the light was getting brighter. It was then I realized it must be the Lord. Uh, I, I was. I, I was, uh, he was answering my request. I was in awe of how brilliant uh, the light was and still getting brighter to, to the point I became a little frightened. And I know uh, in the Bible uh, that, that that many times when the Lord appears, uh, because he's so awesome, that uh, many uh, are frightened and they lay on the ground like they were, like they're dead. So uh, uh, me being frightened is there's nothing different there because uh, his kind of glory was shining all over me. And when I tell you how small that amount was, <laughs> he, he's, uh, he's really powerful. For I had never seen anything like this happen before. I said, Lord, uh, that is enough that the, that the light started, and then the light started dimming. So I uncovered my blanket uh, from my head, and uh, and the light was receding into the corner of the wall. It was on the right corner. And I watched it uh, go go down to just a pinhole uh, in the wall. Yet even the even the light uh, was bright enough uh, to still have the room lit up like uh, they were spotlights everywhere. And then it was gone and pitch black in the room again. So for some time I just laid there and worshiped the Lord and thanked him for loving me. And I love him. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves you enough, loves us enough to, to do great things for us when we ask. And do not uh, doubt in our hearts. Jesus came to give us a, a new life through him. And a new life it is. I mean, in more than one way. He made a way to, to share his inheritance with us that we may uh, sit with him on his throne. Now, now let, uh, uh, let no one tell you that uh, the that, that you are not important to the Father. You indeed are very important to the to the Lord, no matter what has kind of transpired in your life. Just as uh, our children are, are important to us, we, we are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and he fills us with his Holy Spirit. You are then a child of God. That's your seal. And may uh, <clears throat> you're born again at that point. Many have said, been robbed, uh, thinking they cannot receive healing or anything, anything other than uh, a token headache uh, relief because they look at things uh, through the eyes of the flesh. Pray and fast and seek the Lord with all your heart, and he will give you what you ask for. For when you uh, do this, uh, you will grow in strength, 
that's fasting, praying, and, pr and power in the Holy Spirit which dwells in you. And that's the Spirit of Jesus Christ that dwells in you. The Bible's plain about that. The Lord has uh, has spoken to me, to me since uh, then and told me I would uh, would not die. So uh, the Lord showed me uh, some time back now that I am uh, on the last name and halfway through that name. This was a couple of years ago. So <laughs> we're getting close. Uh, uh, are we close to the end? Do you have time to wait? The Bible is clear about the, about the things that are coming on the earth. In Luke uh, 21, 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after the things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Can you afford to wait? I wouldn't. Father, open the blinded eyes, send uh, light to the blind, and helping, a helping hand to, to those uh, lost in darkness, guiding us all to everlasting fellowship with you in Jesus' name. Let us come now to and invite uh, Jesus into our hearts. Go then and be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit of promise. Let us now take our request to the Father in Jesus' name. Father, we come to you with all requests, whatever uh, is on the hearts of anyone that's watching. La hoko shata konde da bako kikiki. La hariki kandoro koti mako kikiki. In Jesus' name. Well, <laughs> as always, Jesus loves you. And I certainly love you. You stay blessed. Until next time, in Jesus' holy name, blessed be he.